Good morning, guys. Oh, that's bright. Welcome to Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Conor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper. I'm on the phone today. Johnny is not with us. And that's because in today's episode, I'm gonna take you through a bit of an interesting day in the life of a student athlete. So the plan is, it is currently 6.52 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of November. And I'm heading to practice, to training. We're training nice and early these days, which is good, gets me out of bed. But yeah, it's starting to get cold. And the reason this week and this day is a bit unusual is because we've got a football match tomorrow against Stirling. Stirling are a team, a university in Scotland. So today you'll see early training, lectures, traveling to the game, staying over in Scotland as I walk through a puddle. Match tomorrow, traveling back. And I don't think we'll be back in Loughborough until early Thursday morning. So, I hope you enjoy seeing what's behind the scenes on a books match day and a day in the life at Loughborough University for a student athlete. So, I will leave you now and head off to training. <laughs> Speak to you in a bit. Two hours later. So that's training done. Bit of finishing, small side of games. Team split into freshers, second years, third years, and final years. Of course the final years boys did it. Big win in the tournament. Back quickly, bit to eat, shower, lectures 9 a.m. So that's it for lectures. All done for this morning. Back to the house. Need to pack my kit bag, pack my bag, have my lunch. And then the bus is leaving for Scotland at two. So, plenty of charging needs to be done. Coursework needs to be done on the bus. Also, phones, iPads, headphones, Nintendo DS for a bit of Pokemon. Oh, right, I'm just saying. Speak to you a bit. Look who it is. Oh, man. Fuck. Yeah. Not sure if I'm my weird fish bits. What are you having for, what are you having for your lunch? Uh, toast. <laughs> <laughs> What's your tip for the long trip to Stirling, Johnny? Flight socks. Flight socks? <laughs> Stick on some compression socks so that you get that circulation in the calf still. Oh, did not think of that one. Very good idea from Johnny. Right, I'm gonna leave you to it. You're not filming, you got a week play, off. Play Pokemon. Play Pokemon. That was a guaranteed. Right, it's time for my lunch. I'm not gonna have fish paste on sandwiches though. So, we're off. Got a kit bag, backpack loaded up and of course it's raining let's head off to scotland let's go find the bus and get this trip on the road So, we set off at 2 p.m. and it's 10 p.m. and you can't see me, but we've arrived in Stirling. 
time to go see the hostel and hopefully get some food. I am starving. Oh, but good bit of coursework and Pokemon done on the bus. Successful. Day two. Morning, Jay. <laughs> Morning. How are you? I'm good, thanks, mate. How was your night in the hostel? Roomy, mate. Roomy. Oh, you had some space. I had a lovely cuddle with uh, Big Matt Horton. We had a, we had a very mature room with Joel, Charlie, and then it was brought down a bit with Jake Hill. Yeah, definitely brought down by Jake Hill. That was the uh, mental age of the room. So now we're going for a wonder. Clibo? <laughs> Mentally prepared for the game, mate? <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, Joe? Oh, nice and warm. Nice and warm. What are you saying about stretching, Matt? How's your flexibility? Oh. You were telling me pre-season, give me three months, and I'll be able to stretch the same as you. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> lad. Yeah, but hey, you're on some different level, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here. A bit early, three hours before kickoff. So sports science have organised a nice little stretching session. They knew how much I love my stretching. What are you going to teach us, Matt? Yoga, a bit of Pilates, stretching out, get rid of that stiffness. Perfect. Sounds fantastic. Add me on Insta, my Insta is Chris. No, 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 no. What was it, Chris? What's your Insta? Chris underscore S M L F. S M L F. Remember that. Hit him up. So, as an update, the hostel was nice, four of us per room, we went out for a bit of tea when we landed, and yeah, a bit of tea, came back, chilled, then went to sleep, up early, had breakfast at the hostel, then went for a bit of a wander around Stirling in the morning, nice town actually, didn't think it'd be as nice as it was, very historic, had a castle, but yeah, it was nice to have a wander around, and we got the bus over to Stirling University. The girls are playing, so they're playing now, before our game, so we got here a bit early, so that's why we ended up having a team stretching session, trying to get the stiffness out of our legs after the seven hour coach journey, and then the hostel last night, the importance of stretching, I've spoke about it before, but like Matt, the sports scientist said, it is very important to make sure that you're stretching and you're warmed up and you've got rid of all that travel, lactic and stiffness. So now, we're into game prep mode. It is half one, we kick off at three. So it's time for me to get focused, switch on, and get preparing for the game. So I'll go off now, find my own little area, put my headphones on, start to do my visualization, get my mindset right. Then we'll head into the change room, get changed, get the kit ready, and then out for the warm up, and it's game time. So that's all for now from me, and I will speak to you after the game. Winning a clean sheet. Let's do this. I'll speak to you later on. Three hours later. Jamie, go ahead and tell keeping goals how that went. Oh, outstanding. That's what it was. It was outstanding. What was the score? Come on! You might have to beef that out, but the score was definitely 3 0. Connor O'Keefe for the clean sheet. Clean sheet for the outstanding. boys! Outstanding. Oh, just come in. What's your thinking? How, how was the game for you, Alapo? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, that's, you know that's actually that's, that's all that is in my head. I just kept on hearing Charlie's voice. Charlie, what were you doing I'm to him? I was making sure he was tracked in. <laughs> that way, it's even me on my own. Yes, that way. Making sure full was hey, wingers were tracking. He made me work. Oh my god! <laughs> what about you, Jake? 
Good game. Good game. Yeah, easy. Professional opinion. Yeah. Happy with the five. Yeah, three points. Three points. Three points. Come on. Yeah. Skip. Just winning headers, mate. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, making it all tick. Did you get an assist today? Yeah, how did How did you assist? <laughs> what was your opinion of the game today? I didn't like to anyone for once. See, that's a, hey, that's a bit more. <laughs> Clibbo, what's your opinion on the game today? Well for win, mate. Well for win. It's what you do, Clibbo. When you say that I want it that way Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartache Tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake I Tell never me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way Six and a half hours later Oh, so, we are back in Loughborough. <sighs> Stirling is a long trip, but the boys did very, very well. A big 3-0 win. Great performance on it from the beginning. All over them. Didn't let up. Defended like a unit in horrible conditions. It was absolutely chucking it down with rain. Wind, everything. I managed to get an assist. From a half volley after taking a free kick, sent off centre forward off Dan, and he did the hard bit. But just shows that kind of distribution practice is paying off. But I hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride and seeing what a match day is like for us lads. And kind of the preparation that goes into it and what it's like to travel and to play and and then seeing what it's like for us behind the scenes. But for now, time to get home, to sleep, to rest, recover, and to take it to that next level. Keep improving, keep working. It's coming to an important stage in books now. One game left, the group stages, and then into the knockout round. So, started filming for this vlog at 6.45 on Tuesday morning. And I finish it at 1.20 a.m. on Thursday morning. Thank you for coming along for the ride and thank you for watching this episode of Keeping Goals. See you later.